My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I want to show you three new features that's been added to the Fader Port 8 and Fader Port 16 in this newest update of Studio One 4.5. So you will need to update Universal Control and update the firmware on your Fader Port 8 or Fader Port 16, as well as update to the newest version of Studio One 4.5.5. So three of these new features, the first one I'm going to show you is auto fill mode for plugin parameters. So you hit edit plugins, it's going to pull us into what I've got up here is a compressor. And this is the default view for editing your plugin parameters. There's a new auto fill mode that you can access by holding shift and pressing edit plugins. And what this does is it gives you an alternate view for your parameters for the plugins. So if you have a fader port 8, fader port 16, just kind of toggle through these two and just you know, see which one uh, you prefer. Uh, but we now have an alternate view for that. Uh, the next one is input gain. So if you turn on the input controls in Studio One 4.5 in the mixer view, we now have an option to add channel gain to our uh, faders in the mixer, we can now access that with the fader port 8 and 16 now. And to do that, you're going to hold shift and press pan. And you see the 1 through 6 I have here. Those are the channel gains. So you can see the DB there. So the faders will control uh, the input uh, channel gain. So I'm going to pull the camera view out some so you can see this last feature, and that's channel volume reset. This is a really nice one. So I'm going to take these two faders and just pull them down. You can bring the faders back to zero by holding shift and touching the fader. So those are three features added to the fader port 8 and fader port 16 with the newest update of Studio One 4.5.5. Uh, it's good to see PreSonus adding new features to the fader port. So, you know, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.